Ok, let's do this! Starting with a GTK3 app, and trying out terminal tabs, in case you've never seen them before. Open some, and move them around. We also have a very boring context menu. And let's get a closure because all this sucks as you will later see. And even closing them is so painful, and middle click won't work. Alright, GTK4 time and lib add weta from master. Make it dark. Run the demo, and move it on another workspace to keep things clean. Ready, let's open some. And notice the animation, even the text input animates on changes. The style looks more fresh, and the rearranging feedback is around 500 times smoother, courtesy of the hardware acceleration. And it only gets better. When we closing tabs, the tabs will maintain their position till we move the cursor out the tab bar. No more annoying resizes, and that eventually will affect every tab in GNOME. But it gets even better, because the context menu moves to a popover model. And that's a new design for attracting the attention. Hum, a boring loading animation, and we had that before. What we didn't have though before, was actionable indicators. But hey, I kept the very best for last. Because we can now also pin a tab. Or more than one if we want. And lots of those were possible before, but now we have official support from the toolkit. And I believe we'll see dramatic improvements on GNOME apps later this year. But we are not yet done with the tabs. Let's create a new window like that, and second to show you another cool feature. So by design GNOME keeps tabs hidden when less than two, to save space. But that creates a problem when we want to move a tab from one window to another. Well, not anymore. Now if Canon could also support tabs on header bar on their design language, everything would be super.